Hello! Um, so tonight I will be reviewing Far Far Away by Tom McNeil and I'll try to avoid spoilers in this review so no worries about that hopefully. So the plot is about the the narrator is the ghost of Jakob Grimm um, from the Brothers Grimm and he's left in limbo to help a modern day boy overcome the mysterious finder of occasions. They don't really know who that is or what he does, but it's not good, whatever he's doing. And, you know, children are disappearing. It's part of it. Um, I thought the plot was well done for the most part. Um, the plant and payoff, which is a um, screenwriting term, but the plant and payoff near the... that led to the climax, I thought was a bit weak, but I could tell what it was trying to do. I'm sorry, plant and payoff is basically, as it sounds, just something that occurs early on that pays off later, is what it sounds like. So, anyway, the climax itself was a bit puzzling. I don't want to say what it was. Um, I'll try to attach a blog post and a link later on. Um, for those of you who have either read it or don't mind the spoilers. But it was a bit puzzling. The writing was really good. Apparently this is the guy's first book, other than ones he's written with his wife before. But this is his first uh, solo book, if you will. But he managed to personally address the reader directly without any, um, should I say he did it very well, which I thought was um, rare, to be frank. Um, not that many people attempt it, but that's because it's, I guess, hard to do well. He did it quite well, and it flowed very well, I thought, and it was, it was good. Um, the characters, the main character, well, besides the narrator, was uh, Jeremy Johnson Johnson. Um, he was kind of 50-50. Sometimes he was quite bland, I thought, and other times he was very quirky in a in a good way, the latter. Um, the character of the baker, Mr. Stenblix, he was really lovely, um, for the most part. I don't want to get too much into that, but, uh, he was very likable. Um, I'll just leave it at that, but, uh, and then the character of Ginger Boltinghouse, she was my favorite. Um, she was... <laughs> amazing. She was incredible. She was just so unusual, so quirky, so... She's like me, I guess. What I aspire to be is basically my own person without, you know, caring, caring um, what others think. And... Sorry. Yeah, she was just so um, carefree, didn't care what others thought. She would say whatever popped to mind, not in an impulsive way, but in a very, uh, candid way. And there was a little bit of romance between them. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler, as it were. But they managed to do it very well without the... So much of the romance in YA you see now is just so forced and strained. This was quite a relief to see it done well. Um, I thought The Fault in Our Stars did it pretty well, too, but here I think it was even better than that. And it wasn't focused on it at all. It was just a side part, and it was very... It felt very natural, very comfortable, which is the way I like it to be, if it's present at all, that is. Um, I guess that's it for now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do another review later. I've not been on here in far too long. But, uh, alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good night. Love you. Alright, bye.